inspiring, Kathy Juste is a two-time cancer thriver who founded the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation after being diagnosed with the disease nearly 30 years ago. I will never forget the doctor looking at me and saying, I'm really sorry. It's a blood cancer, it's fatal. And the more I kept pushing, he finally said to me, you've got three years at best, at best. She is living proof of the strength, determination of the human will and the great benefits it can provide not only for yourself, but for mankind. As a patient and someone that had worked in the pharmaceutical industry, I could see the challenges in the healthcare system and I could also see ways to solve them. I knew in myeloma the number of scientists working in our field, I could count them on one hand. Whenever I attended these gatherings, it's just one amazing story after another. You're looking around the room and everybody in there is tied to Kathy and Kathy has saved their lives. I think it's pretty apparent uh, the reason why I'm here tonight and that is because of Kathy Juicy. They all said the same thing. You've got to meet this woman, Kathy. <laughs> That's the most of my Oma Foundation. You just have to. I love how she, you know, kind of took this business brain and applied it to the nonprofit world to get real results. She came from Harvard Business School, and then now she's a patient and is someone who wants um, quick results, obviously, because it's, it's a matter of life and death for her. Without a doubt, MMRF is going to have played a huge role in the defeat of this. Without a, without a doubt. She single-handedly has influenced the direction of research in multiple myeloma and served as an example of how to live with myeloma, to take charge and not to rest until we have a cure for this dreaded disease. With our partners, we have funded 350 research grants bringing the absolute best scientists to the field of myeloma. We have built a tissue bank that houses 4,000 bone marrows for those scientists to use. We built a clinical network that is 16 centers strong. It has conducted 46 trials, now actually 47 trials as of today. To watch the development of multiple new chemical agents turning into drugs over the course of a relatively short period, this is stunning. We're now in a position not just to double lifespan, but triple, quadruple, get patients longer remissions and cures. Kathy is fierce. She is dedicated. She thinks strategically and competitively as though she's fighting an enemy. That's real leadership. We saw the leader that she was, incredibly inspirational and immediately getting people's attention by being authentic and also being very inspirational at the same time. Hey, Kathy, she's a character. You're not a doctor, you're not a medical researcher. What are you doing? You know, putzing around in our area. But she's made it work. She's, she's a hitter. She's solving a problem that most people would think is an impossible problem to solve. And in fact, when she first started tackling the problem, people said that she would not even have any runway to solve the problem. Uh, and here she is. And so when you're building a team, you need, in our business, you need a good quarterback. And so for us, having Kathy, we feel we're there and we like to win championships and we help all of you a part of this championship team. We were sharing ideas and I could see them executing like this. And I think that made me realize how important it is that the models we're using and the results that we're seeing that we share real time. And that's what will drive and accelerate cures faster. Kathy is inspirational. She fought for herself, but in the end, she's saved so many lives and had an impact on the larger cancer community. That led into the Playbook for Cures, which is still available to any leader who wants to start any organization in any disease. And I'm blown away that thousands of people have used it. He said, you should call Kathy. And I said, well, I, geez, I, she, I don't really, and he said, no, 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 she, if Kathy finds out that someone in your family has this diagnosis and you didn't let her know, she would be crushed. And I thought, wow, that's, that's pretty powerful. She guided us. And when we hit roadblocks, we could call her and she would make us, you know, 
comfortable and calm down, but she would also point us in another direction so that we didn't give up because she never gives up. What I feel is important is making sure that every patient has access to the knowledge they need to get the best treatment for them. And that's the whole point of the book. If you follow these 12 steps, you're going to get to the right doctor, the right center, the right treatment, the right trial. Now she's written a book, it is called Fatal to Fearless, 12 Steps to Beating Cancer in a Broken Medical System. It's this part memoir, it's yes. sharing your story, but it's also like a playbook. Being diagnosed almost 30 years ago, life-changing. I kind of beat the odds of multiple myeloma, but I had to beat the system to do it. You've learned so much, and that's why you wanted to share yes. what you learned with others. In Absolutely. This book. I, I feel like in today's world, if a patient and their caregiver are not on their game, they're going to miss out on amazing okay. science. Take advantage of, of everything Kathy has done. If there's someone you know, or maybe yourself, who, who is suffering the anxiety of a diagnosis like this, that book represents a great deal. Because we care about each other, we live dreams and aspirations, we work together to change the world. And I thank you. You know, go down the street with this woman and, and uh, all of a sudden the sky's blue again.